Gemini 3 is finally here and it is by far the best and smartest AI model that you can use right now. In this video, I'm going to cover some practical use cases that can level up your work and your life. We're going to go over some of the features that you need to know and where and how you can use Gemini 3. So let's go. Now for this video, I'm mainly going to be using Gemini 3 on the Gemini platform. Now on the main Gemini screen, if you click on this drop down menu and you click on the thinking model, then you can access Gemini 3 Pro. Just a quick note that if you click on the fast button right here, you're gonna be using the 2.5 flash model. Right now, Gemini 3 is only available on the pro model, AKA thinking model. Those on the free plan can try Gemini 3 Pro for a limited number of prompts per day, after which it goes back to the 2.5 flash model, just an FYI. And if you're on one of the paid plans, you can access Gemini 3 Pro on the Google homepage on google.com if you're in the US under AI mode, which I'm gonna show you later on in this video. Okay, let's get into the first use case. One of the biggest unique superpowers of Gemini 3 is its ability to watch and analyze videos in a way that no other AI tool comes close to, in my opinion. Let me show you. You can upload a video of someone doing a physical task and it can create the person's form and technique and give them suggestions on how to actually improve it. So I'm gonna grab the link to this YouTube video right here with a man swinging a golf club. And then I'm actually gonna give that to, to Gemini and ask it for it to critique what he's doing in the video. All right, here's my prompt. Watch this video, critique the technique and form of the golfer in the video and provide any suggestions for improvement. And look at this detailed output. It's critiquing his technique and form, disjointed rhythm and tempo, poor balance and footwork, all arms downswing, tension. There's certain things in here that when you watch the video, it's actually very consistent with what you're seeing. So it's, it's pretty accurate. And then it gives us some suggestions for improvement here. So improving the stance and balance, loosening the grip on the golf club and engaging the hips really valuable information here. Imagine using this for your own gym form or any other physical task, huge game changer. Now this video analysis capability is also a hugely valuable asset if you're a content creator. Let me show you. We can have it analyze three successful videos in the same niche from different creators and give it this prompt. You are a YouTube expert with 20 years of experience and over 1 million subscribers. Watch these three videos from different creators in the gardening niche who are very successful. What techniques are they using for audience retention? What patterns do you see that I can use in my own videos to give me a higher chance of success on YouTube? And then I'm gonna give it the three videos one by one, one with each prompt. And then it's gonna give me an analysis on each video. And then it gives me a summary of all of the feedback from the three different videos. So now we've got these golden patterns of successful gardening YouTube channels based on the three videos that we gave it. And it gives us action takeaways that we can use for our own videos. For example, number one, never start a video with, hi, I'm gonna to talk to you about X. Start by saying, by the end of this video, you'll be able to achieve desired out outcome. Very good. This is a huge hack for reverse engineering successful YouTube channels. Now, the amazing thing about Gemini 3 is that you can also give it multiple different file formats all in a single prompt. YouTube videos, PDFs, Word documents, etc. Let me quickly show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it one of my YouTube uh, videos that I've done. And I'm going to say, analyze this video from my YouTube channel. Help me repurpose the key ideas into a high performing, engaging LinkedIn post. And then here are some LinkedIn posts I like from other people. And I'm going to upload uh, a Word document with those LinkedIn posts right in there and some best practices for LinkedIn. And uh, to give you an idea of the style I want, keep the post to 500 words. And now here's its response. There's a post draft here and it looks very close to what I actually talked about in the video. So it's done a really good job of kind of summarizing it and also using some of those best practices from the Word document. And this is a very strong draft. So I really wouldn't have to do too much to this to actually be able to post it on my LinkedIn. One thing that I really noticed about Gemini's upgrade is that it's a much better writer. Before, I would find it would be a lot more sterile, kind of more impersonal, more formal, but it has really improved and has a much more human tone to its writing now. Now, before we move on to the next use case, showing you one of the biggest upgrades, Gemini's complex reasoning ability, I just want to quickly mention something. You probably know that things are moving insanely fast in the AI space right now. Honestly, it's hard for me to keep up and I'm doing this full time. And because of that speed, I realized that the best way to actually master AI isn't just watching videos alone, it's figuring it out with other people in real time. And that's exactly why I started my own community on school. It's not some static course, it's an active group where we're all testing this stuff together. We hold live workshops, we show the exact prompts that are working right now, sometimes even before they hit YouTube, and we support each other so no one gets left behind. So if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by how fast things are moving with AI and you want a group of like-minded people to learn alongside, I'd love to see you in there. 
I'll put a link right at the top of the description below. All right, back to our use cases. So we know it can handle all different types of file formats and writing better, but one of the major improvements in Gemini 3 over 2.5 is its reasoning ability to think through complex multi-step tasks and also its coding ability. So I wanted to put some of these enhancements to the test. Let's say you're looking at an investment property and you wanna know, will this property actually make me money? Well, we're gonna have Gemini build us a real estate investment app in a few seconds. Quick disclaimer, always verify AI math before making financial decisions. This is just an example to show you what's possible. All right, I'm gonna give it this prompt right here. Act as a senior real estate investment analyst specializing in conservative underwriting. Task, create a standalone interactive HTML dashboard that allows us to dynamically analyze potential rental property investments. And then I'm asking you to create little sliders for different settings here, the purchase price, down payment, interest rate, estimated monthly taxes, maintenance, insurance, all the usual expenses, et cetera. And it's going to calculate our cash flow, our cash on cash return, our debt service coverage ratio, some of the things that the banks look for, et cetera. And I'm going to make sure that Canvas is selected right here because that's what's going to actually allow us to get this created in terms of the code and the actual dashboard. And then we'll run it and see what happens. Now you can see that Gemini is working on the code for us here and it takes maybe about a minute or so. And after running, here's what it comes up with. Wow, I think that looks really good. You can see we've got sliders for the purchase price, for the down payment, for the interest rate. You can adjust the uh, nightly rental rate, the occupancy. We've got a vacancy allowance, management allowance, all these different settings here. And at the bottom, it tells you the debt service ratio, and it also tells you the cash on cash, which is super helpful. And we've also got our net monthly cash flow. This is something I could actually see myself using when evaluating different real estate opportunities. I like that it also turns red when the cash flow doesn't meet the bank's requirements here, which is really helpful. Gemini didn't just code a calculator. It understood the assignment of building a risk assessment tool based on professional standards. So if you're evaluating any kind of complex deal, a business buyout, new product launch, or real estate, this ability to turn complex parameters into an interactive model in seconds is a huge game changer. Now, one of the newest features that Google added was actually this add Gemini features button right here on the right-hand side that you see. It's basically a way to add some extra AI powered enhancements directly into your app to take it to the next level. So I'm gonna click the add Gemini features button just to show you how it works. All right, it works for a few seconds and then this is what it comes up with. And then over here on the left, it's actually telling us what enhancements it's actually made to our app. So over here it says Gemini AI investment community module. This new feature allows you to number one, get an instant second opinion. So it's gonna analyze the deal and Gemini is gonna act as a skeptical senior partner. And then number two, to draft an offer letter if we were actually interested in buying this property. And on the right hand side, we can actually see now it says Gemini AI committee right in our app. And we can now see the button for analyze deal risks and draft offer letter. So now we can see what it thinks about the deal and we can see a draft offer letter that it's prepared. Super cool. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, you can also access Gemini 3 directly on google.com on the homepage if you have a paid plan. Let me show you with this next use case. I was walking through my neighborhood the other day and I noticed some Christmas lights that I really liked. And I thought that would look really nice at our house, but I don't know where they got their lights from. So let me ask Gemini. I took a picture of the lights, which I'm gonna upload and ask Gemini to help me figure out where these lights came from. All right, so from the main Google homepage, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see a button that says AI mode. We're gonna click on that, and that's gonna bring us to a new page that says meet AI mode on the top. And at the top of the page, where the menu options are, where it says AI mode, we're gonna click on that, and we're then gonna click on thinking. And remember, this is only available to people who are on the paid plan in the US. So I'm gonna give it an image of the Christmas lights right here. And then I'm gonna give it a really simple prompt. Can you tell me where I can find this exact item to buy? Christmas lights shown in the picture, analyze it closely, paying attention to the details. Tell me exactly which stores have it. All right, so let's take a look at the response here. And I can see it found it at Sam's Club. So if I click on that image, it is the exact same Christmas lights that were in the picture that I took. So it found the exact store where I can pick up the Christmas lights for myself. Super cool. This saved me so much time and energy of having to run around to different stores just trying to find these lights. But AI mode isn't just for quick answers. It's built for deep planning too. One of the coolest enhancements is using it to help you with your travel plans. Let me show you with this quick example. I'm gonna give it this prompt. 
plan a three-day anniversary trip to Charleston, South Carolina for this November. We need a boutique hotel under $400 a night that is dog-friendly, and I want a reservation for two for romantic dinners, seafood, Italian, walking distance from the hotel. Organize this into a schedule. All right, let's see what it came up with here. Okay, so we have a hotel. It's recommending the Emmeline. It has the location of the hotel, the estimated rate, the vibe, the pet policy. It's already looked up the pet policy for us, which saves tons of time. Romantic dinner suggestions, a three-day anniversary schedule for us. This is awesome. And it even at the bottom gives us a note about dining with dogs. You know, it talks about the fact that the hotel is dog friendly, but the fine dining restaurants do not allow pets indoors due to the health codes. Makes sense. So it even suggests that we leave the dog at the hotel room during dinner, bring a dog crate, as most hotels require unattended dogs to be crated. Very specific suggestions that save tons of time with planning. This makes travel planning so much easier. All right, let's head back over to the Gemini desktop app. All right, now for this last example, this might be my favorite as somebody who loves fitness. We've all been there. You walk into a gym and you have no idea what to do. You feel lost. I want an app that tells me exactly which exercises to do. So we're gonna put Gemini's coding abilities to the test again and its ability to interpret what's in an image. I have this rough sketch on a piece of paper of the app that I wanna build. So I'm gonna upload the image and then we're gonna give it a prompt to build this app for us. So I'm gonna say, turn this hand-drawn wireframe into a modern responsive web app called Iron Forge. Design should use high voltage fitness aesthetics, dark mode with neon green accents and create drop downs for daily focus, chest and tries, back and buys, shoulders and abs, full body, etc. And when I click forge my workout, generate a specific five to seven exercise routine with sets and reps for warm up, cool down based on selected inputs. I'm making sure to select canvas here, make sure that that is selected at the bottom and let's run it and see what it comes up with. I think that actually looks pretty good. In the drop down menu here, we can see we have chest and tries, backs and by, shoulder and abs, full body, exactly as we asked. We can change the experience level. And when we click the forge my workout button at the top, we see that when we scroll down, it actually generates a warm up sequence, the grind, the main workout and a cool down, which is exactly what we asked for. Now, again, we can click on that add Gemini features button right on the right hand side and see what it adds to the app. OK, so on the left hand side, it says here AI spotter. So it adds to every exercise, basically a cue that's telling you how to do the exercise properly or common mistakes to avoid when doing the exercise. Super useful. And then number two, it's saying it's going to do a biofuel synthesis and it's going to uh, basically generate a custom high protein post-workout meal plan tailored specifically to the muscle group and intensity level that we're working on. So let's see it in action on the app. So now on the app, you're going to see that there's a spot me button. So if we click on this, all of a sudden below the exercise, it actually gives us a cue on how to do the exercise properly, properly and what to avoid, which is great. And at the bottom, if I click on this biofuel synthesis thing, it's kind of a weird description. I don't really understand what it's trying to say. I wouldn't normally consume something like what it's saying. So this was kind of odd. But the first thing that it did was really good. So obviously AI is not perfect. And if you're not happy with what it's done, you can always go and click on the back button at the top left hand corner of the screen with that arrow to go back to the previous version before Gemini put the enhancements. But I would say this is pretty amazing. I went from a piece of paper to a functional fitness tool in like a minute. This isn't just for coders anymore. It's for anyone with a great idea and a problem that they want to solve. All right, so before we wrap up, I wanted to tell you about another feature that's going to make Gemini feel a lot more helpful and that is personal context. With the new personal context, Gemini could actually use your past chats and saved info to personalize responses across conversations over time. So it better tracks your interests, preferences, and goals. And it will bring those details into future chats so it feels more like a teammate that actually knows you. Now let me show you how to access this under your settings. So you're gonna click on the settings at the bottom and then click on personal context. And then you're going to get to this page here and it says at the top, your past chats with Gemini and you'll toggle that on and you'll see the check mark if you want it to actually remember information about you. And you stay in control at all times. You can review and edit what's on the saved info page, delete specific items or entire chats. You can turn personal context off or use temporary chats that aren't saved or used for personalization. To use a temporary chat, you would go to the top left hand corner of the screen just beside where it says new chat on the right hand side, you're going to see a button that says temporary chat. And then you're going to just continue your chat here and your history will not be saved. 
And just a quick privacy reminder that when you use Gemini, your prompts, uploads, and conversations may be used by Google to help improve its models. And if you want more privacy, then both people on the free and paid plans can go into their privacy settings right over here and turn off Gemini apps activity. When this is off, Google won't use your new prompts and files for AI training. Just know that you'll lose some features like having your conversation history saved or getting personalized suggestions, but your data stays out of the training pipeline. So there you go. Gemini 3 has officially raised the bar for what an AI model can do. I'm still gonna be doing quite a bit of testing on this, but I wanted to release a video based on what I think so far with some use cases that you can start using right now. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you wanna learn more about how to use AI to level up your work and your life, then click this next video.